I am going to tell you about MDS. So MDS, uh, first we will see the configuration of MDS. So what I have done, I have installed SMS server. So I have cloned MDS from SMS. Still I have not run the HTTPS uh, first time wizard. So when I open that, I will show you where I have to select the MDS. Click on next. I want this IP to be same. I have configured it in CLI. It's taking a bit time. I can uh, shut down some of the resources because it would be taking a lot of memory. This is already shut it down. Okay. Here I will put it MDS. Click next. Okay, it's time. Click next. We can also use uh, NTP server. So here, if I have to configure a security gateway, then I will go by this option and security management. This option. So this option further will tell you whether you want to configure security gateway and security management both in the same which is called a standalone and you will click on next. Also you can configure cluster from here. But if you want either of them to be installed as a distributed environment only you want to install security gateway or you want only to install security management so you can do by this. But here we are not installing security gateway or security management. We are here to install secure multi-domain server. So select a multi-domain and click next. Now here primary multi-domain server or secondary multi-domain server. And the third one is multi-domain log server that is called MLM. Alright, so first we will install only primary multi-domain server. We have Ethernet Zero interface. So what it is saying? The leading web interface are real interface connected to an external network. These interfaces are used when setting down domain management server virtual IP addresses. Each leading interface can host up to 50 virtual interfaces. So it is saying what the virtual interface MDS from MDS. We have to manage uh, different customers CMAs and those CMAs definitely would be connected by external interface so it is saying this kind of thing and also saying that we can configure up to 250 virtual IP addresses so here I have only one Ethernet zero interface so click on next alright I want to access this multi domain from any IP click on admin our favorite password admin at the red one two three click on next finish yes now it will complete the wizard till the time let me see do we have smart dash manager smart domain manager sorry so we have smart domain manager we will open that once this will complete so I will pause video till the time so it has been installed now here you can see MDS multi domain server. So now let's access that. This is R77. Okay, let's try to access it from here 30. Okay, it has given the error.
let's check the date and the time sometime due to this also it gives the error It's 5 o'clock. It should be 17. So it is giving me multiple errors. I will try to install R80 then let's check that whether it will work or not till the time I'll pause the video. So guys it has installed successfully and after that I have rebooted it and I have reset the clock also and now I am able to take the management of my MDS. So this looks like this. So this video was for installation only. All right. If you want to see some details here yes, smart updates are here and this is the general property and there are some options here help about chapman manager so this is r77 there are two r77.30 and r77 okay so these are default configuration if you want to configure new mds we can go here new mds server we can give the name all right so this all stuff we can do so we'll do that thing later okay hope you like this video okay bye please like it if you like the video and subscribe the channel okay bye